Hey there, I hope you're doing well and in today's video I want to share a few tips that can help you do well in your new job or if you're just getting started with your first job. Firstly, many congratulations to you for landing in this job and I'm sure you're going to be amazing. But I think you might be a little nervous and wondering, you know, if somebody could help you how to strike great impressions at work or the do's and don'ts, what is expected, what is not expected and things like that, right? So here I am today going to share those tips that can help you not just strike great impressions at work, but definitely help you grow successful in your career. Okay, so let's begin. The first tip I have for you is understand the bigger picture of your job profile. What I meant by this is think of your job in terms of how it's affecting at different levels in your company, at your boss level, at your peer level, and so on. Go wider about your job profile. You know what I mean, right? Uh, a lot of times we're just so lost in completing the task that's been assigned rather than miss out on the bigger picture, isn't it? You're really not thinking how are you being assessed? What is expected out of me, right? So having that understanding of the dynamics of your job and going wider is the first step for anyone to grow successful in their career. So understand the bigger picture and go wider. That's the first step I want to recommend. And let's move on to the next step. Next step I want to recommend is find a mentor early on in your career. A lot of companies offer mentorship programs these days, which is amazing. If you do have one, go sign up. If you do not have one, I have an interesting situation. We all look up to certain people at work and they think their work is really inspiring, isn't it? I'm sure we take a lot of inspiration at work, right? My tip to you is look around and find such people and make an attempt to connect with such people. I'm sure just spending a few minutes with them is a lot that you can learn, right? Just having that conversation over coffee or during your lunch times, you know, you will learn a lot. But just listen to their career journey, the kind of opportunities that they have got, you know, kind of mistakes that they did, things like that, right? And remember, a mentor is not necessarily someone with whom you need to interact on a day-to-day -day basis. So that's my second tip. So now let's move on to the next tip. The next tip I have for you is do not indulge in office politics. Stay away from it. It's just going to add more negativity. And you need to stay positive if you really want to deliver quality work, right? Because you do hear a lot of noise at workplaces, right? Somebody might come and tell you, you know, your manager is not so good, you know, this company is not so good, you know, a lot of noise. Stay away from all that noise. Also, the reason I say so is your experience might be different with your manager, right? So stay away from all those politics. And the next tip I want to recommend is do not switch jobs frequently unless you're working in a hostile, you know, Calm, work work environment uh, again you're not going to learn anything about your industry if you're frequently switching jobs also do not judge people too early because it's going to take some time right everybody is trying to learn about you they're trying to form impressions about you they want to know what you're good at what your core competencies are just because you're not getting that friendly vibe in the first few months don't form conclusions too early. It's gonna take some time, so keep your calm. Okay. The next tip I want to recommend is do not bring your emotional personality to work. I know all of us go through rough days. You might not be doing well at your personal level, but trust me, it's also important for you to keep it professional at work. And you are not just being assessed on your technical competence. Remember that you're also being assessed at your emotional competence. So keep it professional and keep your calm. Okay. Let's move on to the next tip. The next tip I want to recommend is constantly upskill yourself. Read a lot about the research that's happening in your industry learn about the industry insights and this can also help you to have an idea of what kind of opportunities that you will get right so focus on constant upskilling and 
look for relevant certifications right like let's say if you have an internal job posting and you think that's going to help you to grow faster in your career go do those relevant certifications and apply for those internal opportunities so now let's move on to the next step the next step i want to recommend is get social at work and try and focus on building your network early on in your career focus on building those relationships meaningful relationships because you never know your network is going to come back and help you or give you lot more opportunities networking is very very important if you really want to go in your career so connect with right people smart people who can actually help you you know learn a lot and can help you connect with multiple opportunities at them now let's move on to the next step the next step i want to recommend is dress up nicely be presentable and put up an upbeat vibe you need to bring out your personality to work you need to bring out you know a personality that can actually get you more visibility and that can attract more work right what i mean by this is um, you know if you are someone who is always approachable who is someone who is open to accept new challenges a lot of opportunities will come your way so be that person who is presentable approachable and always enthusiastic about accepting new challenges at all and let's move on to the next step and last step but very important voice out your ideas and opinions at work what i mean by this is try and build a personal brand early on in your career nobody is going to come and ask you hey what are you thinking about this at work this unlike you have it in your college days where your faculty members are coming and asking hey you know tell me about it right that's not going to happen at work this you have to voice out your ideas your thoughts and build your personal brand find an opportunity to talk about the kind of projects you worked on and its impact and uh, speak up speak up it's you know you need to get visibility at work so always find those opportunities that can help you brand yourself and help you get you know and helps you to find more opportunities at work So that's all from my side. I hope you enjoy uh, and you find these tips useful. If you do have more tips that can help, please put them in comments. And if you want us to cover any other specific topics, put them in comments. And I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching, and all the best in your new job.